After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. Oh my god. <laughs> he just immediately starts crying. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? Hmm. I see, now that you mentioned it, I completely forgot about this matter. That's what I was wondering, honestly. I was sitting there like, wasn't there another way to get there? See, my thinking is maybe it's it's still on a rail, but it's not like a typical up-down elevator. Like, it, it goes up as it rotates, or down as it rotates. I don't, yeah, that's, I'm just confused. Like, I was like, wait, isn't there another way to get there? So how... Would I was it, like hoping they would explain this. Would it even need to rotate it? Wouldn't it just be an L? Well, I guess it, ha it well, has. They, they want to yeah. make it seem like it's rotating from one side to the other. Yeah, so it does. So it could be like on a rail system that just, yeah, like uh, slides well, that, up I, as it rotates and slides down as it rotates. I imagine you enter one side and leave the other. So it probably does like rotate, like you're saying, as it goes up or whatever. Okay, I think I, I, think I know what we're going for. If okay. The elevator moves vertically. Then, when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Does it like swoop around the building, kind of thing? Like, you know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's might be what it is. Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. Okay. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Hmm. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? What does this mean? <laughs> I agree. What does this mean? He just says it too. What does this mean? <laughs> if the two houses are connected vertically, the position of the tower should be the same on both sides. Okay. But the fact that my back is facing the elevator in the grape house, my tower is on my right. And when my back is facing the elevator, strawberry house, the tower is on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? Okay, um, yeah, Kazuichi's account was about the 180, so we'll probably, yeah. probably need that. If the two houses are connected vertically... The elevator should move. Maybe that's why you couldn't use Kazuichi's account before. Oh, it's probably vertically. Both houses. Yeah. If the contact elevator is behind you... The towers are in opposite directions. Yes. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. You two need to stop tag teaming. This is weird. This iron curtain of teamwork. <laughs> so Gundam and Sony have matching arguments. It sounds like it makes sense, but is it really correct? If the two houses are connected, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. Okay. No, because. So. Nagito right. made Kazumi right. do something. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Are they working together for some retarded reason? Who? Sonya and Gundam. Or is Sonya just being Sonya? Sonya's being Sonya. Yeah, but now it's just like she's really like helping him out well, you know she actually, like latches onto personalities like with that serial killer she was all like hoo ha about you know what i mean like yeah i guess it's the just... personality of things i could i could see that just being her being like you're interesting i want to be like you <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's just weird because i'm still thinking of, i'm still thinking about how gundam how did he hear the alarm clock but when the alarm clock happened the bang happened almost like that was a signal for someone or something but I'm thinking, like, is it the hamsters or was it Sonya being die? Ah. I don't know. Hmm. I getcha. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? 
Huh? Me? Come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. It... Mm -hmm. oh. following the building's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower was This is surely a fun house. The great mm -hmm. appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. Hmm. An elevator that rose Was Sonya in like the and the special room too, like, like where you can hear sounds. Um, yeah, I think it was Sonya and Chiaki got the good rooms because they yes. knew and uh, Akane had the crappy. Yeah, Akane wanted a crappy room, so. Yeah, because I'm trying to think that Sonya hear the alarm too. I can't remember what she said at all. Yeah, they, they weren't even in the same house. Place. Yeah, yeah but, but they kept saying they heard a ringing. No, that was Akane. That uh, was, that was yeah. the talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that was Akane. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Okay. <laughs> well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. Okay, Monica. Well. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman. He's in what? Is it human for making a funhouse? Mm. I mean, there's other things that. Slowly humans. Are you an alien? <laughs> yeah. You, is that what you are? The secret of the funhouse, right? Then let's start talking about the important. What's in your ear? Corn. All right. The corn. <laughs> What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? I was just thinking it was the mallet. You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the octagon, you know. <laughs> what is the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh, I think we were talking about like yeah. Did, didn't they like say what the octagon was at the beginning? Like when you get through the dead, when you get to the dead room, they take you to the octagon. Yeah, I don't know. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. Well, it has eight sides. Uh, eight-sided shape. I see. I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know. I took second grade shapes. <laughs> You're quite knowledgeable. Well, you know, I am good at putting shapes in holes, I'll have you know. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? place befitting of the name octagon it's probably oh god well considering it's on this floor yeah. wouldn't it be here ish Thanks. here yeah <laughs> here ish it's here ish <laughs> you're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room why is that place the octagon you know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house if you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. All right, nerd. Oh, so that's why the room was shaped like that. That's basically the gist of it. Yeah. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there, too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. Learn? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the Funhouse. Hmm. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Wait, what? Uh... Like me, the killer probably realize the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. 
and then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. The fun house itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. The funhouse is the true identity of the ultimate weapon. What does this mean? How did the killer use that to murder Nekamaru? Well, do you guys have an idea of how they killed Nekamaru with a building? <laughs> Dude, I'm... Oh, man. Um... How would you typically kill somebody with a building? Um, knock their head into it, trip them, put the wire. I don't know. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> and who the killer? Who did? Who is the killer? Who did that? <laughs> hey, uh, does anybody want to tell me who the killer is? Anyone? Well, anyone? Yeah, raise your hand. We promise we won't look. Hiya. <laughs> Hi, hello there. I thought of a new bad word to call on me. <laughs> I can already already tell I will be pleased by this. <laughs> they let me say it right, right away. <laughs> I'm, al oh. I'm already used to insults and slander. There's no way I can get hurt by a mere word. Monami is a serious stufat stufatly. That's much more straightforward than I expected. Stufatly, huh? <laughs> just, just, that's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect gesture of attack incorporating all three of these would be... Ta-da! Stu Fatly! Huh? Oh, well, well, there's fat hidden in there. Okay, everyone. Uh -oh. Together now! Monami is a serious Stu Fatly. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ain't fucking Stu Fatly. <laughs> I mean, her belly button is poking out pretty far. Okay, we had to stop our trial for that bullshit, but whatever. How I are got you? It. Hi. You're oh, still talking. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my uh. state won't be able to keep up. Okay. <sighs> my heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a layback so what? Attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay. Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. What kind of advice do you give, woman? And just like I say each time, don't forget to say it frequently. Yeah. Whatever. I. I never. Expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. <laughs> I love oh, Chiaki. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? Yes. That's not what's important. The thing that's really important is the killer who used the building structure. Like who's Mekumaru's murderer? <sighs> But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. Uh oh. Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. That's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. 
Just so you know, it's not like I'm Ma'am. hungry or anything. He said I see at, at uh, Gundam, like, hmm, I see. <laughs> Come on, that's funny coming from you. Uh, Akane, you are drooling waterfalls? <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. what she does. Nagato as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking, I have no idea if he's serious or not. If the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Negamaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Negamaru's cause of death, huh? He was horribly damaged if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, wouldn't it be a kill that utilized the building structure? So was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilizes the building structure. Crushed by the elevator? Is that a thing? I don't think that would be possible from where he's at. Fall? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna fail! Yeah, he fell. I see! He fell! Lots of fell! That's it. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? If the fun house's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in the well, would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? Well, then... Someone from Strawberry House would have to kill him. Because he, if he fell from the top, the top of Strawberry House, he was going down from Strawberry House stairs. So someone had to have killed him in Strawberry House and pushed him down. It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. I don't know, Gunner. You're getting too defensive. Um, I might have to. I might have to put in my vote early. Mm. But my gut is going crazy right now. If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? I'll tell you one thing. If it's for you, Hiku, I'm gonna be so fucking surprised. I'm like, what the fuck? I get you. If I'm going to reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. I'm gonna guess the good night button. Mm -hmm. That's probably soda. Eh, so does, never know. So the molecule. <laughs> the elevator is on the first floor. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. If soda killed him, I'll give you Gundam. The, the voice. Up there. Then. How about this? Oh, it's funny that you give him Gundam, right? Tomorrow inside the mm. elevator. Mm. I mean, I don't have anybody else, really. <laughs> Do you want a Kane? <laughs> That's just funny. You said you said Gundam, you know? A sensor? Oh my You're God, my geek! <laughs> 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 <The other door. laughs> I'm laughing so hard I can't even fucking focus. What am I supposed to shoot? <laughs> oh no, I wasn't listening to anything they just said right now. Yeah. yeah, to be honest, we're gonna have to rewatch that and not be oh, laughing no. over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny I don't so much as Gundam. Huh. It's funny you mentioned Gundam. <laughs> mm, well, I'm just, who do I have? I have Gundam and I have Akane, and you can't have Hajime. I'm, I was joking. I, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make it clear so they understand that Nekomaru fell to his death. Look like it's all to me. Hey. When the elevator is on the first floor, mm -hmm. you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Yeah. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. You're shoving him off. How about this? No, the good night button. After locking Mikamaru inside the elevator, mm. they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? Oh yeah, as long as there's a moving moving object, you can't. That's why he has the good night button. That sensor should only work if something is moving. And I did think that he mentioned something about that before too. The elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did because he was like saying like, "Oh, what if we put you in the good night?" He's like, "Oh, I don't want to be left like that by myself for a long time." Yeah. Could it be? 
His sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? Uh, was that what the hammer was for? They bashed him in the head to unlock the sleep button? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Kinda looks like it. I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes. That was also what I was kind of thinking, like, well, no, because I mean, he thinks to open the door, right? I don't know. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. <laughs> yeah, that fucking whore. <laughs> pissed! Oh, God. <laughs> now you're calling me a pest? Aw, Soda, no, just accept that just... she's never going to love you. Man, Soda's getting beat up more than Hajime with Nagito right now. I know, right? My poor boy. <laughs> Like he's getting beat up more more than more than when uh Nekamara went through. No. <laughs> a way to create a drop inside the elevator while Nekamara is still in it. Chiaki seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? I mean, she was about to explain it. Just let her explain. You don't gotta say anything. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, anyway, I am the alpha male. I need to answer everything. Thank you. <laughs> the wire? Yeah, didn't didn't oh, have like they, a little. They tied his leg to the doorknob, didn't? Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it was. Oh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. In the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? <laughs> oh, now it's making sense. The hammer is. I'll explain after this. Yep, hammer is very suspicious. Is time we went over the pillar again. The Akon no, is not being done that. On the floor. Uh, get your oil out of here. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I think, yeah, yeah I, I think it's sure. that, but I'm kind of curious what we need to. What Chiaki has to say. I want to end it to see what else. Silence past. It's just being made to him. So cool. That's funny. So, what if? Yes, yeah, so now it makes sense now. What if I start to enjoy it? Oh my God, is the lady yeah, face that? Because now it makes sense. If, if I'm going with the Gundam theory, or like whoever in Strawberry House, that's why they had that alarm ring. Because they want everybody over there, and then they heard the crash. That's what it was for. And that's why, oh, okay. It makes sense. It wasn't the hamsters. <laughs> I mean, the hamsters could have hit the rope to make a fall. If Nekamaru's inside the elevator, how could he create a difference in elevation? Okay. If you okay. Way, you can cause the I think we did identify it with the. <laughs> Isn't it about time? What about the? Yeah, with what Fuhiko said. Yeah, Fuhiko had the right idea. Whoops. Yeah. I agree with that. I can. I consent, Fuhiko. Didn't the doorknob have scrape marks on it? Yeah. That. Might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekamaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair! That's right. He was suspended in midair. Huh? <laughs> the killer tied up Nekamaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. Mm -hmm. It bubbles. <laughs> oh, that's why the doorknob broke. So well hung. Mm. <laughs> like yes, he was. You better not finish that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, you pookie. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Monokuma is just going straight for the jugular. The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaro could fall to his death. Too easy. What? Soda, goddammit. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Why? 
if Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? The doorknob broke? In midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Uh, he did, though. We saw it. He's right there. The rope's tied down. He's dead. Mm. It happened. But it's a broken doorknob, obviously. Suspended Nekomaru. How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell off? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Uh, no. If he was sleeping, there's- Hey, no hey, I wanted to slice that. The time if you want to take that, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drug. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru in is just impossible. End of story. Hold on, thanks to Kazuichi, I figured out that the killer dropped Nekomaru. All right, if I use the evidence, I should be able to break through Kazuichi too. Nekom Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? No, he was. Well, he got woke up. Those words. What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Mm. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. Mm. An alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekomaru probably did exactly that. Wow. And then... In order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that... Unexpected for the killer, too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. Yeah, that's why they- oh, that's why the alarm went off then, huh? The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because... In that case, I shall use my full power. Ooh. With a fierce roar, Nekomaru pulled all of his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But clatter, 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 clatter. Hey, not done yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Go <laughs> oh, wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. If that's really what uh, it was, then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. See. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. <laughs> so in a weird way, he fucked up the doorknob and kinda got himself murdered? Wow, that's crazy. Do you finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Mm -hmm. well. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? Okay, no, I don't feel bad anymore. You can say so. Uh, no. Oh, is he go full Toko? <laughs> no, we got the male Toko. <laughs> hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? This guy, he gets off on this. <laughs> Took you a little uh, bit there, uh, Fiego. Uh, hey, uh, hey, you should be our good friend, Toko. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? Doesn't it doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight into the floor? The moment Nekomaru, <laughs> yeah, he collided with the pillar. Mm -hmm. All that came out of his eyes <laughs> fell to the floor. He ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar! Mm. So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. 
See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. <laughs> Calm down. It wasn't really. <laughs> well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive. There we go. Now we're getting there. If we map it out from there. Hold on, baby gangsta. No, no stop. stop. We were getting there. We were getting there. <laughs> stop. Calling me baby gangsta. <laughs> gangsta. Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself. Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower at 7 a.m. <laughs> she was looking forward to that event. <laughs> and if found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. <laughs> Don't describe it like that. <laughs> How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? Th that's what I want to know! Another mystery. Did they, hmm? did, they change, did they change the clocks back somehow? Aren't they all like atomic clocks or whatever? I don't know, that's all kind of confusing. Because even Monokuma said no one showed up. Yeah. Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after the other. But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. Okay. I don't know what we're going into. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And come join me again. Bye. <laughs>